Hey everybody, this is Eric from Sweetwater, and today we'll show you how to set up your audio interface in Cubase. So after you've created a new project, you'll want to update your audio settings so that you can record and play back using your audio interface. Setting it up is really simple. First, you'll want to go up to Studio, then select Studio Setup. Next, go to VST Audio System. So the first thing you need to do is click on the ASIO driver drop-down box and select your audio interface. After that, there are a few advanced options you might want to consider updating. The first is release driver when application is in background. When this box is checked, it allows audio from other applications to play back even when Cubase is open. The next two settings you'll want to look at are performance-based. The first is multiprocessing. What this does is it evenly distributes the processing in Cubase to all available CPUs. This takes the load off of one specific processor, which in turn means better overall performance when you're recording. The other performance setting you'll want to take a look at is called ASIO Guard. Think of it as a second buffer, but only for audio tracks being played back that aren't record armed or monitored. So this minimizes CPU usage, so you can still get a low latency recording without worrying about pops, clicks, or audio dropouts. This is especially useful for larger projects. Once you've finished setting everything up, just click Apply, then click OK. Once your interface has been selected, the next thing you'll need to do is update the input and output settings. To do this, go back to the Studio menu, then select Audio Connections. Let's update the inputs first. What you'll want to do is click the input tab, then click add bus. From here, select the number of inputs you want to add, the configuration, either mono or stereo, name the bus, and then finally click add bus. After the input bus has been created, go to the audio device section and select your interface, but only if it says not connected. Lastly, go to the device port of the new bus and update the input channel you want to route to. Now let's update the outputs. When you update the outputs, you'll follow the same exact procedure. Just click Add Bus, update the number, configuration, and the name of the bus, select the audio device, then select the device port you want the output to be routed to. Now that your interface is set up, you're all set to start recording. We hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Also, be sure to check out the Sweet Care Knowledge Base and InSync blog for more information. Hope you have a great day.